disaster zone floods. Table of Contents. Chapter 1, It's a Flood. Chapter 2, Deadly Floods. Chapter 3, Staying Safe. Activities and Tools. Try this. Glossary. Index to learn more. Chapter 1, It's a Flood. Imagine you live near a river in Iowa. It is early spring. The air is getting warmer. Snow is melting quickly. Then it starts to rain. It rains and rains. Streams fill up fast. They jump into rivers. The rivers get higher and higher. Soon the rivers can't hold anymore. They overflow. It's a flood. Water floods onto land. It covers farms. It destroys crops. Water flows into the street. It floods homes. It ruins shops. Where do they happen? Most floods happen near rivers or coasts. Nearby, another river swells. People hope the dike is strong enough to hold the water, but the water is too powerful. The dike breaks. It's a flash flood. Did you know? A dike is a wall made to prevent rivers or the sea from flooding land. All floods are dangerous, but flash floods are especially scary. They happen fast. People do not have time to prepare. Water rushes. Cars get carried away. People run to high ground. Some drown. Did you know? Water is unsafe to drink after a flood. It can carry disease. Chapter 2. Deadly Floods During monsoon season in Bangladesh, flooding covers up to two-thirds of the country. People build homes on stilts. They use boats to get places. Kids attend floating schools. Flooding is a way of life, but it can be deadly. In 1974, 27,000 people died from flooding in Bangladesh. Many of them drowned. Others were killed by floating debris. That wasn't the end of the problem. The flood killed crops. There was no food. As many as 1.5 million people starved to death. Sometimes natural disasters like hurricanes cause floods. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina hits New Orleans, Louisiana. It caused walls of water to converge onto the city. Levees broke. About 80% of New Orleans was underwater. Did you know? When China's Yangtze River flooded in 1931, as many as 3.7 million people died. It remains the highest number of flood-related deaths in history. Chapter 3. Staying Safe. The National Weather Service issues flood watches and warnings. It is important to listen. If you're told to evacuate, you need to go. Flood waters are powerful. It only takes six inches, 15.2 centimeters, of moving water to knock you off your feet. A car floats in a foot, 30 centimeters of water. Cars can roll, trapping you inside. If you live in a flood-prone area, be ready. You can prepare for floods by making sandbag barriers. Place them around your home to help keep water out. Keep an emergency kit. It should have bottled water, food, a cell phone, and any medications you need. Be prepared, and you can stay safe in a flood.